What's going on guys? Today I'm gonna go over the F8. So the last time you guys saw it, it just got delivered. It was absolutely filthy, um, disgusting, and I didn't get time to kind of go into the car and why I got it and what I like about it. So I've had it now for about a week. Um, and I wanna tell you what I do like about the car, what I don't like about the car, and I'm comparing it, I guess, to all the other cars. So basically I'm gonna compare it to my 720S, which is what I've been driving until I bought this. Um, First thing I love about this car, uh, that, and I've never owned a Ferrari, so this is my first Ferrari, I've never had one before. Um, everyone always told me like, you know, once you get one, you're never gonna wanna get another car. And to be honest with you, I totally understand why now. Uh, the inside of this car is absolutely insane. So the, different, the main difference that I notice between the two cars is really like the detail and like the carbon fiber, the steering wheel, um, the tech in the Ferrari, I'm not like super impressed with, but I'm really not super impressed with the tech that was in the 720S either. Uh, I love my RS7. My RS7 has like the best interior tech that you can get. But when it comes to this car, so I, I, I the main reason I got this is because it's the first tri-turboed um, Ferrari or really tri-turboed, I guess you could say like supercar. Um, and I wanted to experience that. Uh, factory to factory, it's faster than the 720S. It's not faster than my 720S now, obviously, because that one we sent off to uh, Solo Motor Sports in Atlanta. They did like the full tune downpipes, some turbo stuff. So that's definitely much faster now compared to this. But obviously, once I start doing some things to this car, it's going to be, um, I think, a lot faster than that 720S. Uh, one thing that I love is the back. So looking into the motor, um, the one thing about that 720S is you can kind of see it. There's like a little mesh thing, but it's not full transparency. So this has a full plexiglass um, rear, I guess you could say like trunk area where the motor is. And you can see through, you can see everything. It's like super crispy, really good attention to detail. Um, I like the rear end on the F8 a little bit better than the 488. That was one of the things that made me want to get the F8 more than the 488 Pista. I was going to do the 488 Pista. Um, I just like the way it looks. I like where the exhaust is. I like the tail lights. Um, one thing I hate about the car, to be totally transparent, is the wheels. So I'm getting new wheels put on it tomorrow, which is why I'm filming this video today. Um, super excited. I'm going to send it over to Extreme Performance. Um, Zach took care of me there. We're going to put a set of awesome wheels on it. So we'll film that tomorrow and show it to you guys. Um, other than that, oh God thought that was a scratch um, other than that the interior is really cool it's very minimal if you go inside and you look there's no like center like touch screen it's all on the driver's side which is every ferrari i'm pretty sure is the same so it's not a big deal to me um, everything is really controlled by the driver um, yeah that's pretty much it so as far as driving experience goes i think that this car drives much like harder than the 720s the 720s feels like it's a little bit more loose um this car feels like it's a lot more grounded it, the the rear wheels definitely loose loosen up on the 720s a lot more strictly because i think it just has more power um i love the color the color was one of the main re things i wanted about the ferrari i wanted the ferrari red i didn't want any other color uh and that's pretty much all i got for it so far uh when you go inside it the the options for like the switching are pretty cool so we'll go in and i'll show you guys that right now so one of the cool things about it that I love is the on the fly switching between the, the different uh, modes of the vehicle, um, sport, race, CT off, ESC off. So ESC off is like the most race you can get. That's with like basically balls to the wall. That's if you're gonna race people. I keep it on race. I don't keep it on sport or wet. I think wet's useless. Uh, sport really, I didn't notice much of a difference. Race, I, I like keeping it in that. Um, if you guys haven't checked out a YouTube, there's a YouTube video of the car doing a wheelie. It's fully stock. Um, and it literally, the guy has it and I think he has ESC off and he didn't even use the launch control and the car literally took off. But as you can see, carbon fiber steering wheel is awesome. It has a shift indicator light in the steering wheel. So as you're going, it tells you when to shift if you don't have it in automatic. Um, and then the rest of the car is really basic. I mean, you know, a lot of like really nice little details like the Alcantara back on this. It has, you know, all the leather stitching, the red leather stitching in between it. Um, carbon package is awesome. But there, like I said, there's no screen here. So everything is like right here inside the, inside the cockpit of the car. So you don't have the, like no one can change the music. It's really all up to you. Other than that, I, I love the car. I think it's super dope. There's like little details like the mats with like the F8 Tributo in them. Um, but I haven't really had a chance to like fully get on it and, and get on it like I have my McLaren. And so I guess I'll do a video of that after I send it up to get it tuned and you know, exhaust and all that fun stuff.
This thing beeps so fucking much, it's so annoying. <laughs> There's nothing even behind me, it's just beeping. The ground is behind you. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> All right, so the other thing that's weird is so there's no drive. So you basically hit that and it puts it in drive. Yeah. So all these cars are like so different when it comes to like how to use them. And I'm obviously still getting used to this one. So don't take my driving skills to heart if you're watching and you're gonna make fun of me because I don't know how to drive it. Um, but yeah, no, the car's dope. So honestly, my favorite part though is the steering wheel. The steering wheel's sick. It's like. I've had carbon steering wheels in a lot of my cars. Like my, I think my RS7 has a carbon steering wheel in it as well. But this is just like, I don't know, I don't know. Feels different, like it's harder, it looks awesome. Has a little key holder for your Ferrari key. Nifty. The one thing that you definitely can notice in the car though is um, the three turbos. So like you'll, like one will spool and then you'll feel like the next one spool and then the next one spool. So as you hit the gas, it like slowly, but progressively like fucking takes off, which is pretty cool. Where's the back seat? There is no back seat. <laughs> this guy wants to race. <laughs> All right, ready. Chevy camera. We'll go from like a dead, dead stop. So from the dead stop, I feel like it's not that fast, but here we go. Pretty quick, right? Jesus. <laughs> we lost the rear end a little bit. Yes, I see that. <laughs> but you, you feel how smooth it was? Yes. Like it just like went. Yeah. Wait till you drive in the 720 yes. <laughs> It's like an absolute wrecking ball Tasmanian devil style horsepower. It just like, it's everywhere. Oh my God. Yeah. That makes this like literally slow. I don't know how fast we just went, but that's slow compared to the 720. All right, here we go. Pretty quick. It's, it's pretty fast, but it's like controlled chaos, you know what I mean? And it feels super smooth, like it just like, I don't. I know you don't understand what I'm saying, but you will as soon as you get in the McLaren. So glad I got to see Hector before I did this video. <laughs> Clipper Masters. Clipper Masters. Stewart, Florida. Stewart, Florida. So boy, Hector. All right, to date, this is definitely my favorite car. Um, it's absolutely insane when it comes to speed. It's like for the money, I don't think you can get a faster car than this car but there's certain things about it that I don't really love either. The, one of the dopest things about the car is the whole entire bucket of this car is carbon fiber. So when you open the door and you look inside the actual like frame of the car, this is all raw carbon. If you look in the wheel well, if you look up here, it's literally a full carbon fiber mold. Um, if you look at the steering wheel, same thing, carbon fiber, just not as like refined and as detailed as the Ferrari. This car actually has like the center, like control panel for like the passenger to be able to do shit on which is good because my wife like you know loves to fuck with all the buttons um other than that the other dope thing about this car is it has an active arrow so this when you're like say you're like you know moving you're you're flooring it, it it'll like tuck down and then when you hit the brakes it'll actually shoot up in the air and like come straight up and you can see it has like two huge I don't even know what the fuck those things are, but it pushes it up and you see it like in the car, it shoots up and the whole rear end of the car will sink down. Um, this car I did send to Solo Motorsports. So I did uh, downpipes, I did an exhaust, I did a tune. So this car shoots flames, like it's insane. The car is unbelievable. Like you'll hear it when we're in it, it'll like be the pop, 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 pop. That's all flame shooting out of the back of the car as we're driving. Um, other than that, I mean, we'll get in it and you can tell me what you guys think, but this is definitely the fastest car I have. Hit right there. Pull. <laughs> Bro, you gotta you got give me instructions. <laughs> <laughs> There's really nothing to this car though, like compared to the inside of the Ferrari. It's like even more basic. It's a hybrid. 
Yeah. Fully good, electric. Good, 100 miles a gallon. Fully electric. Oh man, the other day, so when I was dri- when I was pulling this out of the garage, I fucking um, wasn't paying attention, and the, I have like narrow garage doors, and I ripped that whole mirror off. Oh great. The whole it's fixed now, thank God, but it was a fucking disaster. Ready? Yep. Ready? Here we go. Jesus. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> Take me home. <laughs> I'm done. <laughs> uh, it's fast. I literally get no. I, this gas tank, I, I can't even get to Palm Beach Gardens and back on one tank of gas. Jesus. I swear to God, you have to refill it. Like we left the house it had like 54 percent. That's at 49 percent already. Because of your foot. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Whatever. Dude, who parks like this? This is Sammy. Jesus. Moves it out of the way. Onto the bushes. Get out of the mulch so we can do All right. This is loud. Get into it. I gotta turn this thing on now. It's on? No, you turned it off. I did? Yeah. Sure. Oh, never mind. You're right. Fuck. Right. Right. All right. So this is hands down like the best daily driver I've ever had. This is my second RS7. Um, I had my first one when I was in college and I love this car. I love the color of the car. I love everything about the car. I actually got this car because I bought Sammy or Sammy bought the RSQ8 and um, I drove it, I sent it, or I, I got, we got it here, I drove it, and I was like, fuck, man, the inside of these cars, the new technology inside the Audis is absolutely bananas. So I hit up my buddy Destin, who I bought that from, and I had him see if he could find me an RS7. He had a Nardo gray one at the port, so I bought this one as well, and I love this car. We sent both of them to Solo Motorsports in Atlanta. They did t d uh, downpipes and tune on both cars. The cars are insane. They sound amazing, they're super fast. Um, and then I got a set of the Vossen uh, concave wheels. Um, I forget what size. I think it's a 22 rear, right? Yeah, 22 rear. And then I want to say it's a 21 front, but perfect offset. They look awesome. I don't know if you see the size of the brake on this car, but it is absolutely insane. It's the biggest brake I've ever seen on a car, a carbon ceramic brake. Um, and then the interior, guys, the interior of the car. I mean, everything about this car is unreal. It's super clean, super nice, diamond stitching. And it's fast as shit. So now we're gonna take this one. We don't have to take this one out of the neighborhood. We'll just take it around the corner. This car is just super comfortable. Yeah, I love this car. I drive this car everywhere. I, I bought it, I don't know, how long have I had this car? A month, two months? That's 3,500 miles on it. I think it's the only one with back seats. It is. Aside from the Besides, Super Duty. You know, the, well, I don't have that. I don't have the Mustang or the Super Duty here. So we can't review those. The GT500 is a badass car though. You lost them. That's what happens when you have 11 cars. Okay, relax. Actually, my dad's driving it. My mom, uh, my mom t texted or told me yesterday that he like was talking about getting one, and she told him that he can live in it if he chooses to get one. Did you take your dad for a ride in the McLaren? Yeah, I have a video. <laughs> it's hilarious. It's it's him freaking out. Pretty quick for a daily driver, right? This car's huge, too. Yeah. You get so many groceries so fast. <laughs> <laughs> and her car is exactly the same. Yeah. It's just as fast. Yeah, honestly though, I send all these cars to Boris, um, who owns Solo Motorsports in Atlanta. I've, he's done my cars forever. I've never found anybody who, um, you know, cause like a lot of times what they do with like Audis and shit is they'll have like preset tunes that you can buy and they'll just put like a preset tune in. He dyno tunes every single car. So he'll send, he'll, I'll send the car up. He'll put it on the dyno. He'll custom tune it on the dyno. He'll keep fucking with it. Let it cool down, put it back on the dyno. And we always get like the best numbers out of the tunes.